Welcome to my first YouTube video. Okay, anyway, I'll start with the questions from Instagram. There is no one menstrual cup for everyone. Everyone's body is different. So there please do your research first before you buy your menstrual cups. Compare menstrual cups with pads. The main difference from menstrual cups with pads is this one goes inside your body while men while pads are just sit on top of your underwear. The next difference would be you could wear a menstrual cup for over 12 hours compared to a napkin. I don't know, for me, 4 to 6 hours. But for menstrual cups, I change every 12 hours. Next is different types of cups. Yeah, I mentioned that there are different types of cups for different body types. The three top types of cups would vary in firmness, in height, and in diameter. For the firmness, usually athletic people, those who play sports, would need a firmer cup because they have a stronger pelvic floor. Because if you use a soft cup like this one, it's gonna leak because it's easily bendable if your pelvic muscles are strong. So it's going to leak while you work out, while you play basketball or something. Then the next difference would be height because some people have low cervix some people have a high cervix and some people have the average. Pause the video. This is how you measure your cervix height. If you use a cup that's for high cervix, it would be peeking through. So may low-key lalawit yung bottom niya. Which is uncomfortable because mararamdaman mo siya. Because the essence of menstrual cups, once it's inside, you won't feel it. Makakalimutan mo na siya completely. And the last one would be the diameter. The pink cup is the Lily Cup 1 from Intimina. It's called the Beginner's Cup because of its short height and diameter. While the Clear Cup is a generic brand from Shopee. Although both are only available in one size, there is a clear difference in terms of diameter. The common size chart for menstrual cups are usually only two. Size A, B, 1, 2, or whatever. And that's usually size A for those who are 30 years old and below and hasn't given birth yet, the normal birth, you know. Or if you're 30 years old and above and you already gave birth. This one that I use, it's from Intimina. It's a reputable brand, it's an international brand. It's 1,020 pesos. I got it from their website. People think that it's expensive because well, yeah, I know 1,020 is like a big, maybe a big thing for people. Na isang bagsakan like 1,020. Yeah, it's expensive. Di mo siya pwedeng ganun lang. Actually, if you think how much you spend on napkins per month, it's like 80 pesos. Then ilong pads you use per cycle. Then times 12 because for a year that's actually gonna be more than 1,000 actually so this will actually save you since 10 years mo siyang magagamit and I swear to god please don't buy generic brand cups from Shopee because they're not FDA registered you always need to use a med medical grade silicone for the menstrual cups medical grade means the silicone has been tested and approved by the FDA for biocompatibility this means it's designed to be worn safely inside the body for long periods of time. Medical grade silicone is hypoallergenic, latex free, contains no toxins, and is non porous so resists bacterial growth. Shopee prices are often too good to be true. These cups are usually not using FDA cleared silicone and are often flimsy and thin, so it might not work as well. As I always say, pinapasok na siya. This is a menstrual cup. It's collapsible. I got it from Shopee for 120 pesos. And its texture is like a baby's pacifier. I don't even think this is made out of medical grade silicone. And it smells like plastic. Um, next question, heavy flow. I recommend you guys get a cup that's for heavy flow. Talaga. So I'll add a picture and that's the Super Jenny cup. And that's great for a heavy foot. Because if you use this, it's going to fill up every two hours. So, ang hassle. Two hours, papalit ka. No. 
Is it uncomfy? Hmm. It's uncomfy the first time you try it because there's a learning curve for menstrual cups. I'm not gonna lie, there's a high chance that it's uncomfortable because this thing's new. It's new to you, it's probably gonna be so weird to put this inside. But after that, once you're used to having a menstrual cup, it's not uncomfortable. And I used this while I was surfing and I didn't have any leaks whatsoever. It's really comfortable. You forget you have your period. As long as you get the right size of cup for you, the ones that would last you 10 to 12 hours. Next question is peeing. I actually get this a lot because people tend to think na iisa lang yung labasa ng blood and yung pee. The urethra is separate from the vagina, and wherein the vagina has the blood and the urethra has the pee. So when you have to pee, it will go through. Hindi siya mabo block or masasa lo ng menstrual cup. So yeah, I didn't. I also didn't know that when I first tried the menstrual cup. I thought it's gonna fill up and. Basics: How to use putting it in and removal. Many people think. That when once you put it in, there's a chance na mawawala siya. Maybe a picture. Hanggang sa vagina lang yung menstrual cup. It won't go through the cervix because di siya kasha. It's just gonna stay there. Nothing's gonna happen to it. Di siya mawawala. Hindi naman ko ay bayon. So once this is inside you, it's going going to create like a suction. It will act as a seal so it won't leak. That's why there are holes. So it will create a suction and it's gonna stay there. But once you're going to remove it, you're going to have to bear down. By bear down, I mean pinaganda ko, iiri ka. Iiri ka hanggang mat you're going to be able to feel the stem. And then once you could feel this, it's easy to just like get your hand and touch the base. And you're gonna pinch it so to relieve it from the suction. So once you've been able to pinch it now, hila lang. And that's it. On putting it in the one, you won't be putting it in like this because girl, di siya kasha. You're going to have to fold it like this. So this is a push down fold. You're going to have to push this part down like that. So it looks like that. Again. That's the push down fold. Next would be the C fold. You're just going to be folding it in half. Like that. That's how the seafold looks. And we have the seven fold. Where you're just going to fold the upper right or upper left until it looks like seven. And yeah. So what's gonna happen is if you use a punch down fold, you're gonna put it in, then you're gonna let it go, and it's just gonna pop open like that and it's gonna seal itself. But usually for me, it doesn't seal a god. So what I do is I walk around the house till I like hmm, it's sealed. I trust me, it's gonna be like that. Okay. Tips for beginners. When I first tried on menstrual cup, I actually watched a lot of videos because no one in my family was using a menstrual cup. So I had no one to ask. I don't know anyone. I, I actually really don't know anyone who used it. So that's my like number one tip is learn more about it so you'll feel less scared less intimidated and you'll feel more confident in using a menstrual cup the next would be is to relax yeah it sounds sounds weird but once you're putting it in and removing the menstrual cup you have to relax because your muscles in I forgot what it's called but so your muscles will stiffen it will tighten if kinakabahan ka so it will be harder to insert, harder to harder everything. You need to relax once you use a med, a med. You need to relax once you use a silicone cup. So you so your muscles will be all it will be easier to put it in. Those two are the main tips. Relax once you're putting it in and putting it out and research as much as possible. Hmm. 
Anyway, I think that's it. That's it. That's it, guys. If you have any more questions about menstrual cups, you could comment down below. You could message me in Facebook and in Instagram. Maybe I'm going to link a curious cat so you could ask anonymously if you want that. So anyway, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys... Oh my gosh, I sound like a YouTuber.